question of the day is, what is one thing from today? Name one good thing that has happened to you today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, boys? MRL says, I'm doing destroy the pretzel. Look at this thing, guys. It's not even a pretzel anymore. But I'm letting him keep it for a little bit longer before I throw it away. How are we, Riddler? You got an eye booger. It's gone now. Are you doing sleepy? And how are we, Sassy? Are we doing good? Are we doing good? Do you like telling your friends good morning? Does my hand smell like lotion? Yeah. So, today is my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Tyler! Yay! So, in honor of his birthday, we're going to go and have lunch at Kumo. Um, but I need to get up anyway, because I need to go check on Sasha, and I need to go pick my brother up from work, and then go to Kumo. So, yay. And I have this beanie on because... I don't have time to take a shower, and I will take a shower when I get home, so, yeah. Uh, my brain is very anxious right now. It was last night, it was really hard for me to go to sleep, and then I was having weird dreams that made me more anxious, because it's like, even though these aren't actually happening, I feel like it would happen in real life. So, I'm like, well, goody. Um, the main source of my anxiety right now is that I got an email from work, and it sent all the PDs. And basically, well, first thing is that we need to be pushing one of the other lines, which I was like, okay, whatever, that's fine. But now we need to try to make, a, guys, we need to try to do a minimum of 12 conversions in the four hours we work. The max I've been able to do is five. And sometimes it's because of foot traffic. And sometimes it's because the traffic that is there, they're either buying a different brand name because we're not allowed to interfere if they do actually have a food product already in their hands. Or they're here to get like a fish or reptile or something that's not dog related. So, it's like, what do I do? I don't really want to switch my hours or switch the store because everything's pretty convenient for me right now. Until I can get a full-time position, which I'm trying for several places. And... Let's face it, I'm not the most aggressive salesperson ever. I am one of those that I understand I wouldn't want a stranger coming up to me and just start talking. That would bother me. I tend to usually go up to people with dogs because people like to pet dogs. Um, so this makes me really nervous and really anxious because I feel like if I can't get 12 conversions, and this is per four hour shift, so... Basically, each day I work, I have to do a minimum of 12. And I mean, I know that's not really possible to do, because sometimes that just doesn't happen. But my brain's like, you have to do it or you're going to fail the company. So I'm just like, great. So, now with all that in mind, I'm going to go and check on Sasha and go get my brother. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! There's Amarel, all sleepy. There's Sassy, who's so happy to see me. Yeah, she is. She's so happy to see me. And there's a Riddler. Also very happy to see me. You have like glue-like things on your head. I need to bathe you. Um, so. What has the rest of the day been? Uh, I worked on the vlog when I got home from Kumo. Yeah! Um, <laughs> you have a toy, buddy? Here's the ladybug. I'm surprised that thing is lit. Ah, ah, MRL, no sir. Do not take it. You have other toys. See, we're working on it. Um, and then I went to work, and I told you guys earlier. Really hey, boys, boys. Thank you. Um, I told you guys earlier how I was super anxious because we are now expected to do a minimum of twelve conversions, which means like converting people over, like even selling treats, whatever. I was so nervous about it. It was around about two and a half hours, no, three and a half hours into my shift 
No, it was two and a half hours into my shift. And I had not made any sales and I was so worried. By the end of the, by the, end of the night, I made six. So, woohoo! Which I know is not 12, but for me, that's a personal record. Because the most I've been able to sell is five. Um, and that's like any dry food for dogs and cats, treats for dogs and cats, and litter. For some reason, wet food does not count. I have no clue why. Amaral, enough! Amaral! Look, Amaral, here, take that. Take that, take that, take that! Go. Go here, you can have that. Do you want it? Take the saber. Go get it. I swear you two. Hold on. You have... Oh, Lord. That is thread from the pretzel. I know. Craziness with dogs. Um, But, yeah. Work went pretty well, actually. And then I was talking with one of the managers. And he wants me to apply for a part-time position there. Because, apparently, I do more work than his employees do. And I'm employed with a completely different company. So, I think that's saying a lot. <laughs> Um, and then even better news, so I told you guys how I was wanting to go see a service dog trainer. Hey, excuse you. Will you share? Okay, so anyway, um, now there was a service dog trainer I was going to take MRL to. Um, I finally saw him today and we ended up talking. I had told him that the issue I had right now was the fact that, you as you guys know, my mom doesn't really approve of MRL and what he's being trained for and whatever. She doesn't like the idea of me spending money on him being trained. So that's why I didn't have the money to pay him. And then he told me about these um, other training classes that were cheaper. And then I was like, you know, I'm more worried about is he at a level he needs to be at? Is he like people tell me he's advanced for his age, but I don't know. So... He's offering that on Sunday to assess MRL for free. And that is amazing. Because apparently assessments are usually $50. But he's like, I will assess your dog for free. And I'm just like, oh, what? So that excites me, but also makes me kind of nervous. Because I'm like, I can know if he's at a good level. And what I could do with training from there. But then it's like, what if he acts up and looks stupid? Because I know he works well. I know that he's great with training. But when he's outside, it's kind of a little bit harder for him. But I don't know why. This trainer's been cutting me deals for a while. I think for some reason he likes me. Not, li not like that kind of liking. No, 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 no. But he's really cool. I'm really thankful for him. And what he's willing to do to make sure that MRL's trained. Because he's, ultimately, he's like, the money doesn't matter to me. It's the dog being trained. Which I am so glad that he is for that philosophy. Because I just want my dog to be trained in the end. So, yeah. And of course, after work, got dinner. Got donuts for Tyler for his birthday. Then went to check on Sasha. My cousin Garrett was home, so... I spent a lot of the night talking with him. We talked about, like, life and jobs and even anxiety because he has anxiety. And how we agree that my mom's kind of crazy. But <laughs> there you go. So that's been what the day has been. So it's been pretty good, which I'm happy with. And now Riddler sniffing my leg. Where is he? There he is. Because I played with some other dogs. Hi, buddy. I love you. So now, I'm going to sign off for the night and off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, what is one thing from today? Name one good thing that has happened to you today. Like, anything. Even if your day's been horrible, find one good thing. Like, maybe your day has sucked, but the sun was shining. And you enjoyed the sun. Or maybe you took like a few seconds to breathe. Or maybe you ate a Pop-Tart. I don't know. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, rotten boys. And good night, my most beautiful girl in the world. My beautiful girl. I love you.